I think all my paths have just led here. These paths of photography and aesthetics and emotion and conservation and humour. What am I? I would say I'm a conservation photojournalist and filmmaker currently. So I specialise in telling stories visually, whether it's film or photography, about the often jagged line between the natural world and the human world. I started out uh, in photography as a, as a kind of response to being obsessed with kingfishers, weirdly. Um, I became obsessed with these little blue birds when I was six or seven, and I think probably as a result of a childhood trauma and an inability to make friends easily as a kid, I kind of vanished into the animal world. I started out really just covering animals and I think and I, you know and I went on to filmmaking where I was making films just on animals and I think the more I did that the more I watched the world changed. I sort of took on this I guess a responsibility to start covering the issues that the animals face. End Times is a, a visual document. It's a set of pictures that are dark, funny, and I would say truthful in the sense that they are constructed images where you off, you'll take two worlds and you'll put them together in one. So, for instance, the, <clears throat> the giraffe with red shoes on is a comment on global consumption. You know, a giraffe that died in a drought in East Africa, it's the worst drought in living memory. It didn't die, you know, by mistake, it died because seven or eight billion people have overconsumed. But these bright red shoes from the States and they're put on a dead giraffe in East Africa, it's bring, it brings those two things together, it tells a story. Just after I took the giraffe picture, I was like, okay, what is the most offensive thing I can do to tell these stories? And I thought, I know, I'll lay a model down next to a dead elephant and she can be looking at her phone. It's so horrific. It messes with your head so much, there's no way you can scroll past it. I post them on, online, I get, you know, I get a lot of people attack me. Actually, most don't, because I think most get them. Um, I, to me, there is no ethical issue. It's dead. It's not, it's not just dead. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to wake you up here. You're worrying about me respecting this dead giraffe. It's... So with the otter, I wanted to create something very beautiful out of something that's not very nice, which is a dead otter. And it, you know, everyone loves otters. And especially, you know, I spent my entire life working with otters more than anything else. So, and I, you know, I absolutely love them, but I also have this fascination with, with, the, with I think, beauty after death. So I wanted to take that title, I wanted to take an otter, I wanted to make a beautiful picture of a dead otter based on that title. And what was amazing, we laid this animal out on this white lino sort of mat, clear white thing, and then it looked horrible. And there was, you know, there was some maggots there. It was just disgusting, wasn't it? And it stank, and it. And I'm like, this is never going to work. And then when I poured that tin of black gloss paint on it, we all went, oh, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> it looks nuts. I never thought it'd look that good. I mean, it took hours to light it and get it right, but it, you know, ended up with something that's otherworldly. It looks like a sort of weird black otter in outer space, and it's encased in its sort of bubble. It's a very odd picture, but I think very beautiful. I en enjoy creating those images. Um, they're there to ask questions, they're not there to give answers. 
I think it's up to other people to take from them, if they're powerful enough, take from them their own message. But it's not, I'm not there to, to suggest what message it is or what answers there are. Just, I'm just showing a problem.